Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing some little fish mermaid brushes for you today. Um, and if you'd like to see me review them, then just keep on watching. Okay, so from the uh, intro, you would have known that we are reviewing these little fish brushes. <coughs> um, so I got these off of eBay. Um, I think they were like £1.20 each, maybe. Um, so they're all different brush um, heads. As you can see, they're all different. Um, and they're a nice gold little fish tail, a little fishy. Um, so yeah, we're going to try these out um, for our base makeup. Um, and we'll see how they work. So I'm just going to put them aside for a second, just going to prep the skin. So I'm just going to use my Smashbox Primer Water. And then for primer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer. And this is like a silicone primer. And ignore my little friend. He's just chilling. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And I am the shade Medium 52 Warm. Hopefully this matches me. I haven't used this in a little while, actually. So I'm just going to put up my finger to start with. Oh, yeah, that'll be right. And then I'm just going to dot it all around. This may be too much. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm thinking of using this brush. So it's quite flat. They do feel really, really soft. I feel like I don't want to use them. But yeah, I'm going to use this one. Um, and see if it will blend out my foundation. Come on, little fishy. Shut up. Shut up! What? It's a tiny bit streaky. Yeah, it is a tiny bit streaky. Do you know what would be really good for this though? Like when you're cleaning up your eyebrows? Like that fits pretty good. And it's really good for getting in your nose. Yeah. So it does work. The state of it, oh, really sad. Um, so yeah, it does work. Um, probably takes a little bit longer just to like tap it in so it's not so streaky. Um, because if you can see the hair, it's kind of picked it up on certain ones and they kind of like stuck together, like clumped together. Um, but no, it looks all right actually. I don't mind this. I do like the bit where you can get in in around your nose, um, and like around your eyebrows and stuff. Like if I had my eyebrows on now. That would have been perfect to just like actually, because I always t kind of struggle to find a brush that can really get close to my eyebrow. So that's really cool. Um, I'm going to see if it will do um, my concealer. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 10. And I'm going to see if it will do my under eyes. Because I'm concerned that because it's so big that it won't do it. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Right. Come on, little fishy. Good for the nose. Good for the nose. Decent, decent. Okay, here we go.
again it is a little bit streaky it is hard to not get streaks I don't know if you can see like around here it's like quite streaky why I can't really get in there I'm going to use the other side in case there's just too much product on it yeah so that does it so obviously it's soaking up pretty much that whole side is full of product so if I turn it round it does blend out a bit better okay let's move on let's move on so I'm thinking maybe this fluffier one for powder yeah so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and see if we can bake with it okay so I'm just going to dip this in whoa picks up a lot of product it's a bloody good shape for your um, smile lines you know what I'm saying? I'm impressed with that one. That one's worked really, really good with the loose powder. I'm gonna use, that just went everywhere. Just snowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right, I'm gonna use a, <clears throat> I'm gonna use a pressed powder instead and just set the rest of my makeup. This feels really strange. By the way, I didn't even say what I'm using. This is the um, Rimmel Clear Complexion Translucent Powder. Duh. Am I filming or not? <laughs> okay, I think it did the job. It's not as good with the loose powder than it is for baking because <clears throat> for baking, you kind of only going in certain areas aren't you rather than like your whole face and so with your whole face like I kind of use a big fluffy brush so it's like do you know what I mean I get it in there really quickly um, it does take a lot longer with this one but did I like definitely liked it for my smile line and my nose baking right next brush I'm thinking this one would be good for contouring what do you reckon I like it's quite good, doesn't it? So I might just try and bronze with it first because I never just go straight in with contouring. So let's give that a whirl. I'm going to use this little trio today. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt, uh, Ultra Sculpt and Contouring Kit in the shade Light to Medium. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer shade first. My brush is bigger than my pan, you guys. Like... Come on. I don't even know if it's picked up anything at all. Oh, it did. Uh huh, yep. This is not work for bronzing. I'm just going to put that out there. This is not work for bronzing. It's too dense. It's way too dense. I'm going to look like a patchy mess, I reckon. Hmm. Is this even doing anything? I swear it's just soaking up and not doing anything. Let's put more on. More! It's really, really hard to blend with this. Like, super hard to blend so so dense 
I think I'm going to leave that. <laughs> Let's try and contour with it. So I'm going to use the cooler tone shade. And this one is like so pigmented. I'm actually like scared for my life right now. Okay. I think I've only got a tiny bit. I'm hoping anyway. Okay. This is actually really good for contouring. Yes. Yes, little fishy. Oh, yeah. Cutting a bitch. It'll work. Right. Let's see if we can contour the nose without looking like a muddy thing. Ooh. Look at this line. Yes, little fishy. Yes, fishy. Oh, well, Dees. You little fishy. Oh. You're the bomb. This is the best for nose contouring. Yes. You know. You know. Yes. Right. Let's try some blush and maybe highlight. The only brush that I have left is this little guy, which I'm hoping will do both of them. Let's give it a whirl. I've got a new blush to try. It came in my glossy box today. Um, this is the Ruby Blush. Um, it's distributed by EJ Beauty. Looks kind of cute. So I'm just going to pop her open. I always struggle with packaging. <laughs> right, here she is. So I'm just going to pop the top bit of this brush in. Whoa, hello. Okay, right. I'm scared. Oh, that was quite good. I think it's not as dense as the other one, so it distributes it a bit friendlier, shall we say. Oh, that's super cute. I really like this colour as well. I like. Right, let's go back to that Makeup Revolution palette and take the highlighter and see if it will highlight. Fresher, fresher. Okay, I'm going to pick up a crap ton. Going in. Look at this. I am going in. Ah! Okay. Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Did I just pick up some contour? Yeah. <laughs> this is why I hate that like palettes like these are so close together because I am very clumsy and I like to mix <laughs> clearly <laughs> okay I kind of sorted that out I need to pay attention Look! Oh, yeah. Damn! Damn! Right. So, I've just used all four of these little fishy brushes. So, I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will come back with my final thoughts. See in a sec. Okay, so I've just gone and done the rest of my makeup. Um, so, let's talk fishes. Who's sleeping with them? No, joking. <laughs> um, okay, so my final thoughts then. So first we use the foundation brush, which looks disgusting now. Um, 
I'm probably going to give this like a 6 out of 10. Because it's quicker because it's quite big. But it is quite patchy. Um, it's really not quite, not patchy but more streaky because of the bristles. They kind of like clump together with the foundation. Um, so then you kind of got to switch over and like pat it out. So it's probably more time consuming than like a sponge or a normal kind of foundation brush like this. Um, so yeah, I'd probably give that one like a 6 out of 10. So not awful, but not great either. Um, okay, so what do we use next? We use the um, powder brush. So this one, I loved it for the bacon. This was so good, I could get into my smile line, under my eyes, it picked up quite a bit of product which I quite like for loose powder. Um, but the pressed powder didn't really work with this one. It wasn't fluffy enough for it I don't think. Um, it's a bit dense and it was kind of like pulling as you were putting it on. Um, definitely good for uh, loose powder and baking. So this one I would give a 9 out of 10. <clears throat> okay. So this little guy, we used this guy for two things, one was really bad, that was the bronzer, this was awful for a bronzer, um, and I'm not really surprised either, like, look at it, it's so dense, like, it's just not going to work for, for bronzer, but I just had to give it a go anyway, but that was a complete fail, um, but, but for the contour, I think it looks really, really good, like, especially the nose. Um, loving the nose contouring today so I absolutely love this for contouring and I'll probably use this again well done little fishy well done 9 out of 10 for me and then this little dude we use this one for the blush and the highlighter um, the top bit was really really good for the blush and then the highlighter it picked it up really well didn't look patchy at all kind of went on quite nice I really really like this one I don't really have anything bad to say about this one so this one is a 10 out of 10 so overall then guys uh, I thought they were quite good some of them not so much um, but maybe just pick out a few which you think would work best for you um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one bye guys Thank <laughs> you.